welcome everybody to again messages from the urban jungle and uh, today I'm inspired to talk about concentration the power of concentrations uh, there are many, way too many children nowadays that uh, they suffer for ADD for other mental issues and problems um, adults also a lot of ADD uh, and uh, a lot of drama a lot of unresolved issues with emotions and uh, you know the connection between your emotions and uh, and your mind and so the power of concentration concentration means con centrum in Latin which means go right into the center and able to concentrate your mind um, into on one object or one thought or just into one thing um, like for example if you take a book and you look at the pages of the book and you start to analyze the book concentrate on the book you will see all the details of the page of the book that they are not working maybe uh, there are spelling errors or maybe uh, the letters they are not uh, the same size or the space between the letters or maybe you know how many lines as the book you start to see all the details you start to become alive with the power of concentration and then you take another page and you make the comparison the comparison of analysis you see the differences and once you concentrate in one page it's going to be easier to see the other page because it's going to be different so in order to be able to break through in life to all the issues all the problems we have this beautiful gift called the mind the creator gave us this gift to use it and uh, to master it and not be enslaved by by thoughts that comes and go that they trigger emotions because your thoughts they trigger the emotions and so the suggestion here is to start with meditation meditation will give you the power of the mind the power of the mind is associated with the power of faith having faith because the power of the mind uh, through the mind you create images there is imaginations and with concentration with your images you're able to empower that image to a place that the, whatever you see in your mind you will see it in your life as long as it's ecological and what does it mean to be ecological it means they have to be good for you uh, for whoever is in your imagination and for the planet in other words uh, that, that mental energy that you use to, um, to concentrate and to energize uh, the pictures that you have in your mind with faith, with the power of faith, it works if there is love in your heart, um, which means that whatever you see, it's ecological. And then you have to release it. And surrender it to it because uh, not everything that you want you're supposed to have you see the Creator wants better things than you you might want all that car the Creator wants a better car for you and I'm just saying now the power of concentration is help to keep your car clean your house clean to organize your mind to love more to direct your love when you have a lover uh, it's very easy for example to get distracted and um, to love each other superficially and uh, so what you want to do you want to combine your mind and your heart together one love with a laser focus can you imagine that that again with a power of concentration you start there are many exercises that you can do to concentrate the mind but in meditation you start to for example just watching carefully your inhale and exhale and the rising and falling of your stomach as you do that 
and you stay with that as long as possible um, without let your mind wandering around and start your imagination st start to take over. You don't want to do that. And if, if that happens, you come back. And uh, the challenge is to try to stay there as long as possible. With time, eventually, maybe you want to do a, a retreat, go in the jungle for 10 days to a month and keep practicing, keep practicing. You will see astonishing results with the power of your mind, which will give you the power to love more. And that's essentially really why we're doing it. I know there are some people out there that they want to, they think that... Um, Developing power of the mind means to become manipulator and have power over other people, be persuasive. You definitely can become more magnetic and persuasive, but I tell you, if it's not ecological, um, your mental power is useless. It has to be ecological. It has to be connected to the will of God and it has to be connected to, to your heart. A good loving heart. Now, as you go deeper with the power of concentration, then something magical happens to the mind. The mind concentrates so much, so much that it's going to almost disappear. It at times completely disappears. It's called, it's called peaceful cessations when that happens. It's going to disappear to a point where your body and your unconscious mind is going to tremendous healing. And you start to have the phenomenon called insight. You start to have a true education. Education means to draw from within. It doesn't mean to learn from a book. It means to draw from within. Remember that your, your body, your soul is God's script. There is a book in your soul. There is a beautiful book. I'm still reading my book. and It's a huge book. I wonder how huge is your book. And every soul's book is so interesting to learn. And you can learn a lot from yourself by go within and with the power of concentration it helps to go within so you have insights so wisdom arise and then after wisdom your mind goes into a deep bliss called peaceful cessations where if someone will take your um, your your um, uh, will we'll take a, a, an x-ray or we'll take the waves of your brain uh, you will be dead it's like a very deep state of uh, delta delta state of the mind and it, there is a deep healing there because there is not the process of reactivity the, of the ego keep reacting keep uh, fearing keep trying to control in life there is a state of let go completely without control and that is one of the biggest healing because in that moment you allow you allow your true self to be there and uh, to heal to heal from from your childhood uh, and uh, from many 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 uh, different unresolved things that they are stored in your unconscious mind which they are stored in your body your body store all the emotional issues the unconscious mind store all the emotional issues in the unconscious in, in the body so the power of concentration is the beginning start with that every day rising and falling of the stomach every day make sure you do it every day though you've got to train your mind you want to master your life you've got to master your mind otherwise you'll never master your life you want to improve your finances, you want to improve your relationship, you want to improve your body, you've got to master your mind. And it takes discipline and it takes everyday work. So start today. Um, I will give you eventually some more tips about it, how to go deeper, to create more power into your mind. And all the thoughts waves that are related and connected to that, pretty much the way that the light works, the photon of light works. 
dot waves are everywhere. They are in your atoms. Uh, they are in, in the ether. Uh, we're all connected, again, influenced by. And when you're thinking, your emotions, they get together, there is a supernatural power there. And that's how fate starts. And it moves so forward. Fate is like uh, the law of gravity. Um, you don't see it, but it pulls you down. Well, the law of fate, you don't see it with your physical eye, but it lifts you up. It is there. So start today in preparation for a deep, deep, perhaps uh, meditation retreat in the jungle or even to really come to faith seminar or any of those retreats where I train people to become really masters of life and master of consciousness and helping the world to change and transform the way that we eat, eliminating Monsanto's, eliminating wars, eating organically and uh, eliminating the pollution, not just of Mother Earth, because the pollution of Mother Earth is nothing but a, uh, a reflection of the pollution that we have inside. So the more we let go of all those negative emotions, the more we'll be able to love in the way that Mother Earth taught us how to love. So concentration is the beginning, is the foundation of mastery. Concentration, rising and falling. And if the mind starts to wander, you bring it back. So start today, every day, start with five minutes. Five minutes, folks, if you're able to do it for five minutes, Without distracting your mind, it's a lot. Then you go more and more and more. Five minutes for a month. Don't go in an hour. If you're now, if you haven't meditated before or if it's been a while, five minutes is better than nothing. Then you go to ten minutes, and then I'll tell you how to go deeper. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon.